In a previous test, the resistance of an original male shirt was investigated. Now a modern body armor will be subjected to a test. It is prefaced by the fact that protective body armor is basically intended to protect against projectiles from firearms. It is well known that armor made of textile materials was already in use in antiquity and the Middle Ages. Here, several layers of linen and or wool quilted together were supposed to provide protection. Now, the following question arises, is it possible to penetrate a modern body armor with different medieval bolt heads? A test dummy, made of synthetic ballistic gelatin to match human tissue which meets the FPI standards is used for the experiment. It is equipped with the soft ballistic package. These package comes from an underwear body armor and consists of 28 layers of twerin, a fabric made of extremely tear-resistant synthetic fibers, wrapped in plastic foil and with a thickness of 6 mm. The first composite crossbow used corresponds to those used in the first half of the 15th century and has a draw weight of about 210 kg or 463 pounds. The crossbow is spanned with a belt and pulley system. The shooting distance is 12 meters. In the first test, the achieved velocities are between 52.2 and 57 meters per second. The kinetic energy was about 94 joules for the lightest bolt and about 105 joules for the heaviest bolt. The second composite crossbow is based on examples from the second half of the 15th century and has a draw weight of about 330 kilograms or 726 pounds. This crossbow is spanned with a rack or cranekin. Once again, the shooting distance is 12 meters. For the 330 kg crossbow, the velocities achieved are between 62.8 and 69 meters per second. The kinetic energy was about 138 joules for the lightest bolt and about 151 joules for the heaviest bolt. Only two of the six bolts shot were able to penetrate the 28 layers of the soft ballistic package. These were the two bolts with the needle bodkin head. In each case, it was able to cut and displace the textile fibers until they became stuck in the area of the socket. The penetration depth was once 50 and once 56 millimeters. In summary, it can be said that it is not only the kinetic energy of the bolt that is responsible for the successful penetration of the materials, but also its shape. Applied 
To textile armor in the Middle Ages, the experiment shows that a sufficient number of textile layers is very capable of providing effective protection from an arrow or bolt shot.